Hi guys, today I'm going to do a nice little tutorial on how to load a fire team into a helicopter and have it fly around, uh, follow some waypoints and then drop off the fire team and have the fire team then follow on uh, with what they need to do. Um, so let's get cracking. Um, head over to the editor as always and we're going to start this here at LZ Baldy. First thing to do as always is to put down your player like so and then the next step is we're going to have a helicopter so we're going to put blue for air and an MH9 down and unlink it <coughs> So we've got our chopper down and you've noticed I've not put an empty one and I've done that specifically for the reason is if we head over to the preview now <coughs> we have got a pilot and a co-pilot in here in their correct uniforms ready to go so they can fly the chopper around for you which is great. Next step, head over to the groups and we're going to put down a blue four infantry fire team. So it'll be four guys here. Like so. So if we preview that, what we should see as we once we've loaded in is our four guys. There they all are. In position nicely. So next step we need to get these guys into the chopper. Now for that to happen the best and the quickest way is if you if you want them to be in the in the chopper when the game starts, when the mission starts, head over to your hello and we're just going to give it a name, Hilo 1. Like so and then what we need to do is head into each and every one of the team members and we're going to type this move in cargo and then helo1 and what that does is it takes this meaning whatever unit you you're putting the initialization on runs the move in cargo command and then that is the vehicle that you're telling to move into um, and that will happen instantly when the game initializes. <coughs> We're going to just copy and paste that for everyone. Um, so what will happen now is once that's done once the game loads up, you see immediately that the guys aren't where they were stood before. They're already loaded into the chopper and ready to move out. Which is great. So what we will do is select the helicopter and add a waypoint all the way over to this little location here which we're going to get our guys to land so we just do a, a move order like so which will get them to fly off to here now I don't know if this is 100% necessary but I always like to issue two waypoints when I'm landing off um, troops I do the move order to where they need to go and then next to it, we're going to do transport unload. And what that will do is unload those units out of the helicopter uh, in that location. I'm not sure if this is 100% necessary doing these two, but I like to do it for uh, just having that extra bit of control and, and knowing, and I know it works, so I will continue to do that. Like 
So it's just about to take off. I'm just going to hop in as well. Like so. And we'll speed it up. So here we go. We're flying along. See the LZ there. Now, what you might have noticed is the helicopter hasn't landed where I wanted it to. Now, there is a real reason for this, and it's something that is um, worth remembering. <coughs> a helicopter will always try and land. A helipad and if you can't find a helipad it usually tends to land on a road because it's a nice flat surface and it knows it's good so if, if you want to land in a specific location which we are trying to do now <coughs> there is a way around this now you head over to your unit selection put one down and we go into empty we go to objects and signs and we're going to put down an invisible helipad right in the middle like that. Now you won't actually be able to see that in game but the, the heli pilots obviously know that's there. So if we go and do that again I'll just quickly get in before it flies off and we'll speed the game up for brevity pilot should now understand that that is a good landing location and he'll move in and put the helicopter down exactly where we wanted it and unload the guys and they've all dropped out and they nearly crash <laughs> that's the AI's fault not mine so there we go um, we're all in there which is great. Now the next step after that we're going to add another waypoint for the helicopter and we're just going to have it fly off into the distance um, and what will happen there is once it unloads the guys it will fly off and, and, and we're done now also what we want to do is once the guys have landed we want them to move down this road and start an assault on this old outpost now the, the, the tidiest way to do this and to keep your map nice and tidy is to grab your fire team here and just move them on your map right to where they would be landing here now because you've got this moving com moving cargo command when the game starts they will ping back all the way to your helicopter immediately they don't they don't run there they'll just appear in the helicopter but this means that when you're now adding waypoints for this team you're adding the waypoints from where they'll be drop dropped off which just makes your map nice and neat so you can understand um, what's going on so we're going to add a waypoint here and we're going to just say speed limited we're going to make them safe and then we're just going to add some waypoints here and here and then we're just going to add a final waypoint of seek and destroy it's a bit big at the old outpost so what should happen is the the, the helo will take off fly down unload the cargo which will be these guys here and then they can carry on with their with their journey um, so let's preview that 
and see if it works for us. Just got to quickly jump in. There we go, I'm in. We'll speed it up. Chopper flying along. It will boot us all out. There we go, I'm out. It's then heading off to where we said to go. And now the fire team is going to continue on with their waypoints. Now it's a really nice and tidy way of doing it and you can see that your, your map stays nice and neat and um, you get what you need to do to get done. I hope that was helpful for anyone and um, yeah, see you on Stratus.